Valdi is the cross-platform UI framework powering Snapchat that the team have secretly been working on for eight years, which lets you write apps in TypeScript that gets compiled straight to native code for iOS, Android, and even macOS, with instant hot reloading, full VS Code debugging support, and much more. But why did Snapchat build their own solution instead of using React Native? And why have they decided to release it after eight years? Let's find out. And before we do, don't forget to hit subscribe. Although TypeScript is used to write the actual app code, Valdi uses a few key non-TypeScript dependencies under the hood, like Bazel, Google's build system that orchestrates the compilation of TypeScript, Genie for cross-platform type declarations, Yoga for consistent layouts between platforms, Skia, Google's 2D graphics engine, and of course, React. Okay, I'm joking about the last one. Or Am I? Because if you look at the code for a Valdi app, it looks a lot like a React class component with an onCreate and onRender method, which contains JSX elements that translates directly to native views containing yoga properties that look a lot like CSS, but actually compile to this native code and renders this basic app, which is very easy to reason about for someone who's coming straight from a JavaScript framework. This is all very cool. But why did they put so much work into Valdi when React Native already exists? Well, right now, React Native, particularly with Expo, is the most popular solution for building a cross-platform app. But eight years ago, that wasn't the case. Back then, it had no desktop support. It used JavaScript bridges that caused janky memory-intensive apps, didn't compile to AppKit views for macOS, and it didn't support true concurrency. At that time, Snapchat needed a highly performance solution that had good developer experience. So they built Valdi. But if I'm being honest, I don't know why they chose now to make it open source. I mean, it wasn't really that straightforward to install. The Valdi dev process forgot to install some key developer tools, picked the wrong version of dependencies, and I found out the hard way that it doesn't like it when hyphens are used for project names. Not to mention now, in 2025, React Native is really good. They've since abandoned JavaScript bridges, use Fabric for concurrent rendering and yoga for layouts, fast reload for hot reloading. Microsoft's React native macOS project can be used for first-class desktop support. Plus, it has a huge community with many big companies already using it, and it has great documentation. I guess Valdi is now at a maturity level that it can be shared with the rest of the world, or maybe they wanted some external contributors to the Valdi component library. But if I chose to use Valdi for a project today, how would I know that Snapchat won't abandon it in the future? Nevertheless, I think it's great to see just how far cross-platform development has come, all the useful tools under the hood that exist to make the process easier, and the fact that TypeScript with JSX and decorators are now becoming a standard in the industry. But what do you think? Have you tried Valdi? Are you planning to? Let me know in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy coding.